with breaking news. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for the news at 11. I'm Karina Corral and I'm Richard Gearhart. We begin tonight with breaking news during a meeting in Lompoc to talk about public safety. The Lompoc Police Department announced it made an arrest in relation to the most recent homicide. Police say they have arrested 25 year old Raymond Ramon Vega and that the shooting was gang related. They also identified the victim as 15 year old Eric Villa Vargas. KSBY news reporter Alex Gonzalez was in Lompoc where the victim's mom spoke out tonight. The Lompoc Police Department making this announcement the same night as the Public Safety Committee meeting, which drew out quite a crowd following the latest homicide that took place in Lompoc this past weekend. The mother of that teenage boy who was shot and killed took to the podium to demand change and justice. <laughs> We need to take away this power from the gangs. We need to take away this power. The mother of the teenage boy who was shot and killed this past Saturday in Lompoc says more needs to be done to prevent these types of tragedies. Residents and members of the community stood in solidarity with Villa. During the meeting, the Public Safety Committee also discussed implementing new strategies like establishing a separate committee to get more community members involved in preventing and reporting crimes, as well as installing security cameras. Some say it would be the most cost-effective option. And although there's a cost, it's a minimal cost in comparison to staffing, and it's something we can do now. Several of the resolutions which were talked about tonight will now need to be presented to the city council. Another thing that the committee talked about is holding these types of meetings more frequently. Reporting in Lompoc, I'm Alex Gonzalez, KSPY News. And police say they are still looking for two other suspects who participated in the shooting that injured two other victims.